Welcome back to New Day Cleveland. You know, we express a lot of emotions through our eyes, especially these days, right? So we thought, let's do a segment where we can talk about what we're putting on our eyes and how we can really make sure we're expressing them the best way possible. Lou McClung is joining us this morning from Lusso Cosmetics. It's, Hi, it's all about the eyes, bud. It really is. It is. Every picture I see, I'm like, oh, it's, do my, what do my eyes look like? <laughs> so how do we yes. start? What's the basics? Well, we're going to get into this uh, first step. Um, the, actually, the first step is to prep your eyes with either a base shadow or some foundation and some powder. And then we're going to take a look at our first video, which is going to be applying eyeshadow to the crease of the eye. And so the important thing about this, this is the most important step we're going to talk about today. This is what gives your eyes depth. And women are very confused about the exact placement of the shadow. So using a, this rounded brush in the video, it fits in the crease perf perfectly. And what you want to make sure you do is actually point the brush up as you're going back and forth like a windshield wiper. And this is the most important step to putting on eyeshadow. Very important. Okay, so that would be step two after you do all the setting. So what would be step right. three then? Okay, so this is something that I do in the studio for a lot of people, and they think it's really cool once we're done, but they're actually scared of doing it. That is applying eyeshadow underneath the eye. And you're using a pointy brush, but it's fairly large just to give that smoky look. And it just really adds uh, some depth and adds some drama to the eyes. I've definitely changed up. I used to put a liner underneath, and then with you with the mm -hmm. eyeshadow saying, okay, no, switch it to a shadow. Mm -hmm. That's all I do underneath my eyes now because I think it, just, it smudges it. It's not as harsh. Yeah, but you still can use eyeliner too. Just be soft with it. And the, the combination yeah. would be really pretty, just depending on what your uh, look you're going for. Yeah, if you're going all out or just a daytime look. All right, so we went through three steps there. What about step four? Okay, so in this video, we should see a blending brush being used. So what happens for women a lot of times when they put the shadow on, the line is too distinct. And that is the thing that's actually distracting, and we don't want to see that. So the blender brush is really nice because you can just go right across the line you created and soften it. So it's almost like an eraser. And, and you, that step I feel like is a very crucial step too because if that's not blended well sometimes, you have those really harsh lines. And I feel like that, that never looks good either, which I've been guilty especially, of. <laughs> yeah, and especially if you're in a hurry and you're trying to slap it on, the, the um, blender brush will really save the look. It's a really quick step and it makes it look like you put a lot of time into putting your eyeshadow on. Do we have one more step? We do. Uh, we should have a video for applying a highlight shadow. And there's a lot of confusion about this one, too, of exactly where to place it. So what you want to make sure you do is in the arch of the brow, it should be kept pretty tightly in there. And you want to make sure that you use a brush with a little stiffness but still soft and keep that really tight up in the arch. Because if you drop it down too much into the crease that you just put the darker shade, you've ruined the whole look. We can't have that. So I, so I just want people to use highlight shadow sparingly. So I know we unfortunately couldn't have, you know, with everything going on, a, a, a live guest or a live model for Lou to do this on. He, he's so great. When we see the before and afters of your models when they sit there, I mean, they're always beautiful women. But to see that transition, it really is amazing. Are you still taking clients in there to come sit down and, and um, do yeah, consultations? It's, it's been kind of, yes, it's been kind of fun because we've actually been – uh, having the client put the makeup on themselves as I coach them. And actually, they That's love that. That's probably helpful. But exactly. By the time they're done, they've proved to themselves that they can do it. So I may just stick with this format after we go back to a new normal. So their best way to get in touch with you then, give you a phone call and set up those appointments? Yeah, and just check out LusoCosmetics.com. I actually have the videos you show, I showed you today. Mm -hmm. There are actually 12 of them on our website. So if you go to LusoCosmetics.com, you'll see a banner across the top with the videos. And so people can, uh, at home, they can take a look at those on their own time. So and if you do at some point need to stop in there again, he's in Lakewood on Madison Avenue there. Coolest shop around and such a great guy. It's always a pleasure. We love working with you all the time, Lou. And happy holidays, my friend. Same here. Same to you guys and your viewers. All right. We'll see you soon. Okay, take care now. All right, David.